now we have 150 and 70 and 80, 85, 90. So we have $190 in eating out. My God. My God. Get our sheet. And be great. I am so grateful, y'all. My heart is so full. I feel so rich right now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. You know you're the part of the way. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. And if you're not a part of Grateful Gang, we'd love to have you over here. You can just hit that red subscribe button. It's free 99. It costs you nothing. Zip, zip, zero. If you're not new here, y'all already know how it go. Hit the comment. Hit the con. Hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to hit this like, thumbs up. And don't forget to make sure your notification bell is turned on. So let's get right up into this video. Today we will be emptying out money that's in here and see we're going to be emptying out this for the last time <laughs> this is going to be our new envelope and you know what when you see this i believe it's going to be new year's eve so happy new year's eve and happy new year you guys so exciting so exciting so we're going to be unstuffing this wallet restuffing this wallet which already has money thank you jesus and thank you lisa i'm not sure why this is here and we also have a happy mail mails so you guys let's just just get your tea your crackers all that stuff let's get started because we ain't got no time so let's grab out our monies right now this is the old stuff so let's let's make some room for gas we have it says 25 dollars left let's see if we are correct that is 20 and five dollars left that is done Oh, no more dividers. We're saying goodbye to our dividers. And we're, yeah, we've, we've used these. We're going to get new. I think the envelopes already have new balance sheets. So, goodbye. You have served us well. I feel like these are so old. I think these are something that Budgeting D sent me such a long time ago. And look, they're still good and still working. Amen. And then groceries. Um, Let's see what's left. Girl, we got balled up money and foolishness. <laughs> I spent I spent eight dollars and twenty nine cents getting something for my parents for they needed for the house to go with that good old rum cake and this is change that I have. Um, let's see if any of it adds up right. <laughs> okay. okay. So currently it had if you saw my check in you already know these we're supposed to have forty six dollars left in here but we actually have twenty thirty thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight. That makes sense, I think. So if we had 46 and we spent about eight dollars, 46 minus eight is 38. Okay, look at us working it out. Just to be on the proper side of things. Y'all see how I had a pen ready. Okay, come on, Jesus. Oh, this is noise. <laughs> um, and it's got some weight to it. What day was that receipt? That receipt to end things off on the right foot, because we're gonna do it. 1223. Is it gonna oh is it oh girl how you gonna write with the tips still on it you play too much so 12 23 that was groceries to the parents and we'll do that with eight dollars because i'm sure i just took the change out which leaves us with 38 dollars and we're gonna say goodbye to our grocery divider and the but the backup sheet which i'm just gonna throw in the garbage i'm trying not to harbor things 20 30 35 36 37 38 dollars you all let's put the fives and the ones together and you know what i think i put some of my grocery shopping from last week on the card so that 38 dollars really needs to go to the credit card allowance our dear allowance which i actually has some money in it who knew so it says we should have 10 left but we only have five honestly i don't know where the other five went <laughs> oh at this point we're just gonna put it over there and call it a wash to say goodbye to this here and then self-care girl we ran through self-care so quick but we have three dollars left it says um, we did our pedicure, our eyebrows, so we can go into the new year feeling good. Feeling good, like we should. Mm -mm 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 -mm. One, two, three. We got three dollars left, okay? Okay, and we're going to say thank you for your service to these dividers. 
And then giving, I don't know why there's money back here. Because zero. <laughs> giving is supposed to have zero dollars. Zero dollars in giving. I don't know how, if y'all stop, zero dollars. I don't know how I give it money to, thank you for your giving. I don't know how we have $15 back here. I feel like the $15 actually belongs in groceries. So, you, no, because we, accru we, we, we said what was in groceries. Is that weird? Why is there $15 back there? Anybody? <laughs> Oh, okay. Because the credit card gets $15. That's why I put it back there. Credit card gets $15. Remember that. <laughs> Remember that. Because I put $15 on eating out on my card. And the credit card is supposed to get the $15 back. Because, baby, I was confused for a minute. All right. Let's see how much we have left. This would be perfect. It had four dividers. But we're not going to be upset because this is Dollar Tree Remix. Okay. So we have 20 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86 dollars left. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, my good people. At all. So now, oh, now we're going to grab our money. I actually put this somewhere else because we got to allocate that at a different time. But now we're going to grab our where the money resides. Where the money resides. Where it. Mm -mm -mm. Where the money resides. Because I'm asked, where the what? Where the money resides. Where the money resides. Where the money resides. Where the money resides. While it has been through some things. Although, New York and Company, you know how old this wallet is? It has been rocking. That was some good quality New York and Company. And I thank you. Of course, the change and all that will be moved out of here, but that, we're not going to waste your time. I'll do that on my own time, and I'm grateful for that, that it has held together so well. So let's talk. We should have $220 to stuff, so let's see. I didn't get any 10s because I was so excited that the machine finally had money that I didn't even remember. So it's okay. We'll make it work. 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah, this money's all okay. Let me put it together real quick. Nope. Oh, we're gonna get ourselves. Okay. Alright. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 220. Exactly what we're supposed to have. $220. So I'm gonna go ahead, actually, because I forgot to grab some changing 10. I'm going to go ahead and take two 10s out of there and get a 20 back. And I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, like so, like that, and take my t take a 20 back. Right? Did I confuse myself? I think so. Oh, gosh. Let's make sure we still have, <laughs> let's see, 20, 40, 60, 85, 86. Okay, I did not confuse myself. All is well. We're good, we're good. And we should still have 220, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, and 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. Perfection. Ooh, we never really have this many denominations. Who are we? Oh my god. I love it. Not mad at it at all. Y'all don't laugh at my Dollar Tree DIY. Okay, so let's visit our binder. We're going to stuff this binder. This binder is going to be new. Our new process is going to be a month ahead. So when we get our two paychecks in January, instead of we're going to stuff that money all into miscellaneous. And then we're going to stuff it and that should bring us, that'll be February's money until I get a month ahead envelope. Which, honestly, I don't know if I want to keep all that money in here. So, I might take this out. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't want to carry it with me. That might end up over there. All right, guys. So, in groceries, we have currently $150, $160. We're going to add our normal 80 because we have an extra check. This is extra. Normally, we'd go into the month with just 180 but we're gonna put $80 extra for the next two weeks or for the month, 20, 40, 60, 80. I kind of love that for me because I kind of get to um, be a little more ahead on groceries and y'all know inflation is real out here with the grocery shopping. So I'm gonna do it like 
that so I don't get too confused. <laughs> All right, and so total we have 150, 60, 80, 220, 40. We have 240 dollars to start off groceries. So let me start that. That's going to be on let's call it one one, and that's going to be a deposit. Of one hundred dollars. I'm sorry, you wish two hundred and forty dollars. <laughs> I don't wish. I'm glad it's two hundred and forty dollars. Two hundred and forty dollars. So our groceries are starting off at two hundred and forty dollars. You guys, I think this one is going to be my longest cash stuffing ever. But <laughs> um, y'all bear with me. I don't think they'll be this long going forward. And next we have gas. Gas currently has. 150 60 100 i usually put my numbers smaller to the largest but i'm going to try it different this year 150 60 or next year and normally gas gets 60 so we're going to do 20 40 50 60 so let's put that in i'm gonna put one of these tens so i can make my life easier for now and count it up so we have 150, 60, so 160, 180, 200, 210, 220. We have $220. All the money we just took out, $220 in gas? Golly, I don't think I need all this. I'm definitely going to have money left over, which is fine because we still have a card to pay off, 220 so we're starting with 220, call it 1-1, one, one, and this is going to be a deposit. 150, 70, 90, 210, 20. Yep, yeah, 220. I just wanted to double check, girl. <clears throat> All right, 220, yes, for the month. My goodness. Y'all remember, this is for the month now, not for two weeks. And then a self care. Girl, self-care, you about to have a little money. Right now, what Lisa sent me for self-care was 20, 40, 60. And normally every two weeks, I give myself 40. So I'm just going to add 20, 40 to it. Okay. And so now self-care is going to start the month off with 20, 40, 60. 20 40 60 80 100 dollars in self-care and since self-care is really big with me this year this is there's definitely exceptions in my low buy year for self-care um i might roll that over we'll see because i haven't decided what i wanted to do with the extra yet one one there is a deposit of a hundred dollars to start off the year okay and next, we have eating out, which is its own category. It's no longer allowance. There are two separate categories now. And if you've been rocking with me for a while, you know this is different. Now, my friend <laughs> sent me $150, $60. $160 in eating out. Chill, baby. That's going to be great. <laughs> and that is for the month. However, I normally give myself 30. Is it 30? Is it 30 every two weeks? Hold on, y'all. Now, I don't forgot. You know, I think groceries was getting 90. Is it 90 for groceries? Y'all, hold on. Let me go check my actual budget. Okay, guys. So, the last paycheck, this was supposed to happen. 60 to gas, 90 to groceries, 40 to self-care, and 30 to eating out. Okay. Now that we're all on the same page... I owe groceries some money. <laughs> groceries is supposed to get 10 more dollars. And I think that's exactly why I had um, wanted to get change that way. So let's put eating out back here for a little bit and go back to groceries and add the additional $10 that it's owed. Okay. New things sometimes take a while. 150, 70, 90. Um, 210, 230, 40, 45, 50. So we're actually starting with $250 in groceries. Let's fix that. Let's just do a different line because this already looks crazy. 
$250. Correction. <laughs> Straight through that. So we're starting with $250 in groceries, which, wow, I'm feeling real powerful right now. Um, This might really roll because on the month when I don't have this much, I think it's going to be nice to have a little extra. So that's groceries. Let's go back to our eating out, which was actually getting 30 So when we add 10, 5, I'm sorry, girl, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, I don't want all these. No, I don't. No, I don't want all these. So this goes here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 goes over there, and we take a 5. So now... You're looking all disheveled. So eating out started with 150. But we added 30. And now we have 150 and 70 and 80, 85, 90. So we have $190 in eating out. My God. My God. Let's fill out our sheet and be great. I am so grateful, y'all. My heart is so full. I feel so rich right now. <laughs> and this one is eating out. And we're going to call that one one. And this is a deposit of $190. Wow. I never have this much. Y'all know this. Now, I know it's for the month. It just hits different. <laughs> it just hits different. Okay, and then have fun, which is a brand new category for me, y'all. I didn't have a have fun category. And although I'm having a low buy year, y'all, that does not exclude for me experiences and getting out there and doing things. It may be that for somebody else, but for me in my house, that does not exclude that. Now, I didn't have any extra money or I didn't choose putting extra money in here. So I'm going to start off with 50 in June, June, not June. Actually, let me think about that. Because in this, in January, I'm going to try to do $20 per paycheck to that. But I guess we'll start at $75 maybe for the month. Yeah, because I'm going to try to kind of be a little bit more low lower on the things in January. So $50, $75. We have $75 and we'll start there. We have $75 in our have fun category on one one and that's going to be a deposit. $75. That's just nice in general because I didn't have that category at all. I feel like I'm going to I'm setting myself up or at least I set me up to a little bit more a little bit more flexible in my life. <laughs> And then giving. Giving didn't have anything in it. And this is where I usually grab my singles from, from whatever I save. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to take these six dollars and put them in giving. And giving will have a category next year. Um, even though I think it might be digital. I'm not 100% yet, but it's going to have at least, I think I'm doing $5 per paycheck or $10 per paycheck. I don't remember. Um, we'll be going over that budget as well, but I'm glad to have it back. Amen. Um, one, one, and that's going to be a deposit of $6. These, these little ones is raggedy, baby. <laughs> But it's okay. It's okay. We are good. Oh. oh, you know what? You guys, so in this, I might have to do this happy mail on a different video because th this video already too long. I have this money that one time my dad gave me money and I said, oh, I'm going to use it on myself. I'm going to use it on myself. And it's still back here. And there's not much. I think it's like $7 or something. However, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. <laughs> there are eight dollars there. What I'm gonna do, I just remembered about it, it's going into my have fund. And I'm not even gonna scratch anything out. I'm just going to add another line and put another deposit of eight dollars. And so that's what, 83? Let's just double check. So we have 50, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. Yep, we got 83 dollars. Yes, thank you, Jesus. There we go. So we did add a little bit extra in there. And that is our have fun category. All set for now. 
What are we gonna do? I'm so excited. All right, um, and. I think I'm gonna do another low buy video just to show tell y'all my understanding of it. I thought mine was pretty clear, but I think there's some people that still don't understand my low buy. Maybe when I rewrite the mind map, I'll go over it on paper in front of you like this instead of like a face to face. Fitness. So fitness has forty dollars in it. I'm not sure I'm gonna continue doing Zumba, but I do think I need to join a gym or something like that. I am not 100% on this yet. So we're just gonna leave the $40 in here and we're gonna leave it as fitness. That makes sense no matter which way I go. And so we'll have a deposit of $40 to start off the month. And if I do decide to go with Zumba for the first month, I am ready, set, and go, okay? Amen. And that is it for now already looking full but um and then i'll switch out the change and the coins and all that later i don't think y'all need to see that so that's that now i don't think we have anything in this binder but let's just double check anyway because i think we took all the money out to pay the credit card and i have finished <laughs> finished the one of them and i was so happy thank you all for all of you who are so excited with me look we ain't trying to leave no money in here but no i don't think we had any money left in here so let's talk about what we have here which is 20 40 60 80 dollars y'all all this 80 dollars need to go to the credit card period like <laughs> we owed the we already we had 80 dollars and we already owed it 15 dollars for eating out and then we spent about that on groceries so there's a Publix bill for 65 dollars and a 15 dollar meal bill which is exactly 80 dollars so 20 40 60 80 dollars is going to go oh you know what so maybe what I'll do, I'm going to put my miscellaneous envelope in there. I need a back to the bank envelope, Lisa. I need a back to the bank and a next and the next month's bills envelope. I asked her for all these envelopes that I might not even use and now the ones I, I haven't used, I need. I don't I need even ask for. What am I doing with my life? But this is actually, we are tracking everything starting next year. So maybe we won't add this. Next year we'll add that. But if I send something back to the bank, we're tracking that too. So this is $80. You know what? Sometimes it reminds me. So today is 1230, I believe. So we're going to say that we're going to do a deposit into bank. Deposit the cash. And there's going to be $80. And this will be my back to bank tracker. $80. And so when I deposit it, I'll know. Because sometimes I go to the civics where I deposit the money. And then I'm like, how much is in here again? And that's that. That is that, y'all. Look at that. So excited to start carrying this around. And I found a bag that's big enough to hold this. And my planner come through, I think. Come through. I haven't tried it in my head. So, you guys, I do have happy mail. But I'm honestly, we're not going to do that. That's just too much on this one video. So, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Remember, it's faith over fear this year. But not just this year. But what? Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, 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 forever, ever, forever.